at you here live on a beautiful, beautiful sunny evening here in Russell. And we're going to take a break and be right back with some uh, pregame stats and pregame talk about some of the teams. And we will be right back on My Town TV. Whether it's a breakfast sandwich or pizza on the way to the track, picking up drinks and crispy crunchy chicken on the way to the game, or a late night snack on the way home, no one has you covered like Clark's Pump and Shop. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Free bread. Refuel. Kentucky. Buckle up and put the phone down. At Buffalo Wild Wings, the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free bonus Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. Welcome back here to Russell High School. It is the Russell Red Devils in a My Town TV matchup against the Ironton Tigers. Ironton coming into this, Coach Travis Wiley's team, small sample size, one win, one loss on the season. Russell still trying to find their footing this year, coming in, Coach Tim Rice's team coming in at one and six on the season. Uh, but just ready to get a turnaround here for the Russell Red Devils, and uh, it's going to be a a great game. It's a beautiful night for baseball here in Russell. Wind's blowing a little bit. The opposite of what it was here last time I was here. It's blowing to right field tonight. Last time it was blowing to left center, but that is March for you. That's what happens. We're going to talk a little bit now about the uh, starting lineup for the Ironton Tigers. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Russell Athletic And they will start off with number 14, Connor Kleiman at shortstop. Number 24, Chayden Kearns, is on the mound tonight, batting second. Batting third will be Ian Ginger, playing center field. Batting in the cleanup spot, number 13, Brady Motes. He'll do the catching. Batting fifth, Tanner Kleiman, the right fielder, number nine. Number seven, Braden Baker at third base. Number five, Nick Seitz in left field. Number four, Tommy Sheridan, is the DH. Number 11, Tyler Roach, is second base. And Just Dawson Filial, number 15, will be playing first base, and uh, Tommy Sheridan will be DHing for him. So that's the starting lineup for your Ironton Tigers. Like I said, they come in with a one and one record. And we are going to come back here in just a few minutes. We'll take a break, and I'll talk about the starting lineup for your Russell Red Devils. We'll be right back here on My Town TV. Ashland Credit Union is pleased to announce the opening of two new locations. The ACU Cannonsburg branch is located across from Camp Landing on US 60. The Russell branch of ACU is located at 1200 Dietrich Boulevard. Visit Ashland Credit Union today to learn how you can achieve more in 2024. Whether it happens without warning or you're able to plan ahead, when it comes to your heart, you want the very best care, advice you can trust, advanced technology to understand, to be heard, to have a say. Professionals who have the knowledge and experience to get it right. Excellent care that's nationally recognized. You want the heart experts at King's Daughters because when it comes to your heart, we have exactly what it wants. 
Right now, one in six Kentucky sixth graders are dealing with anxiety and depression. That's one in six. It's never too early to get your child help and Pathways is listening. Learn more or connect with help today at pathways-ky.org. Hi, I'm Clay with Pollock's Jewelers, and this uh, school season we want to wish all of our local teams the, the best. We want you to know that we're here for you in any of your gift-giving needs, and uh, good luck to everyone this fall and next spring. Trust is something earned, not given. For over 90 years, KFB has built trust in your community. We believe our neighborhood is our responsibility. Through our quality service, innovative products, and local decision making, we are committed to your financial success. Better financials lead to a better life. All with the Better Bank headquartered in Boyd County and serving the Tri-State. KFB, the bank you trust and the community you love. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. <laughs> with a local agent. It's called service. Call me, Mary Boggs State Farm Agent in Ashland today at 606-744-1208. baseball and go real quickly through the lineup for the uh, defensive lineup that is for the uh, Russell Red Devils. Left field Pennington, center field Parker Mitchell, right field Caden Mitchell, Nick Adams at third, Mocus at short, Frazier at second, Lothar at first, Witt behind the plate and going on the hill again for the Russell Red Devils is Elijah Hankins. So leading it off here in the first inning will be Connor Kleinman for the Ironton Tigers, the shortstop. We are just about ready for baseball here at Russell High School. Hankins taking a few last warm-up pitches. Kleiman's ready to go. It looks like the umpire's ready to go. We're, let's play some ball here at Russell High School. As Marty Brenneman would say, let's get this titanic struggle underway. All right, we are ready to go. Climbing halfway in the box, ready to take the first pitch here from Elijah Hankins. Hankins into the windup, the pitch. 
right down the middle. Strike one called. The ball is one strike to count here to Kleiman. Top of the first. Just underway here at Russell High School. Hankins comes ready. The lineup and the pitch. Swing and a miss at a high strike. That was out of the strike zone, but he'll help him out a little bit there on that one. No balls, two strikes. Hankins ready. Climbing ready. Waving the bat. Pitch comes in a little bit outside and low. Ball one. One ball, two <laughs> strikes to count. Hankins comes to the plate. Just stayed alive with a foul tip there. Lyman got a little piece of it. Just come off the bottom of Witt's mitt. And uh, so we'll stay at one ball, two strikes here. Nobody out here in the top of the first. Hankins walks behind the mound, gathers himself, and he's ready to go. Into his windup, the pitch. Swing and a pop-up out of play back over our heads here. Maybe on our heads it sounded like. Looks like that might have hit the top of the press box. <laughs> so we'll stay one ball, two strikes. Hankins tries to find a way to put climbing away here. And the pitch. Swing and a ground ball to short. Fielded by Mocus. Throw over to first. Got him. Nice dig over there at first base by Lothar, and that's a one down. So that'll bring up Chaden Kearns, who's the pitcher tonight for the Ironton Tigers. Now batting number 24, Chaden Kearns. Hankins ready. And he comes plateward. Ball low and inside. Fastball just off the plate. No, one ball, no strikes to count. One out here in the top of the first. Russell Red Devils, Ironton Fighting Tigers. Here's the pitch from Hankins. That one right at the bottom of the strike zone for a called strike. One ball, one strike. Kearns digs back in, ready to go. Hankins is set. Takes a long look in. Now into the windup. And the pitch. Just off the outside of the plate. Ball two. That one just about caught the black, but just a little bit outside. Two balls, one strike. Hankins ready with the pitch. Ball three high. Three balls, one strike here the count. One out in the top of the first. Hankins ready. Brings it home. Swing and a miss. Pulled the string on him there with a breaking ball, it looked like. Full count. Hearns digs back in. Hankins is ready. And here comes the payoff pitch on the way. And a timeout is called. Hankins was taking a long look in, and Kern said, I'm going to make him think about this one for another little bit. He steps out. He's back in the batter's box now, and we are ready to go with the payoff pitch here. Hankins brings it. Lined into right field. And the play is made out there by Caden. Nice catch. Two away. Now batting number 16, Ian Ginger. Is the scoreboard not working? It is. It's just hard to say. It's just hard to say. Yeah, it's working. Two outs here in the 
visitors half of the first inning, the Ironton Fighting Tigers. Ian Ginger, the batter, the center fielder, number 16. Hankins ready. And the pitch. Strike on the outside corner. Well located breaking ball there by Hankins. Lodge is ready to go here. Wasting no time. Ginger comes back in. And here's the pitch. Swing and a line drive towards center. And Parker makes the catch. Parker Mitchell with the catch, and that'll end the inning. A 1-2-3 inning for Elijah Hankins. We will go to the bottom of the first. No score here from Russell High School. We will be right back on My Town TV. Primary Plus is celebrating over 40 years of its mission of quality, advanced, affordable health care. With more than 11 primary care locations throughout the region, Primary Plus believes in our communities and their patients. Primary Plus, always welcoming new patients. Visit online at primaryplus.net. I know that we impacted him. It um, really helps, but I don't know if they really know how much they impacted us. The things these kids go through, we can't imagine. Almost every foster that we've had, we still have contact with. We choose to continue to foster with Remy Eastad because they've become family. I've never felt like they say, here you go, you're on your own. You can call them at any time. If they don't have the answer right at hand, they'll find it and get back with you. Back here at Russell High School, bottom half of the first inning, getting ready to get underway here. Jaden Hearns on the hill for the Ironton Fighting Tigers. Russell will send up Mocus, Hankins, and Parker Mitchell this inning, and hopefully more for the Russell Red Devils. See if they can get on the board early here. I want to thank my uh, production crew, best production crew in the company, My Town TV. Marcus and Josh here with me tonight. And as always, the folks here at Russell High School in the booth with me, they are very helpful. Always have a lineup ready for me, and that's can't say enough about that. Just about ready to get underway here with the one and one Ironton Fighting Tigers and the one and six Russell Red Devils. Let's see if the Red Devils can right the ship here a little bit here this early season. A lot of baseball left. Of course, next week, no games. They will all be at spring break enjoying themselves while we're here. Probably still cold. It's probably going to get cold again. That's just how it goes. But we do have something kind of cool coming for you next week on My Town TV. For the first time ever, we're going to do live music on My Town TV next week. We have a singer-songwriter special night on Thursday, April 4th, 6 o'clock, from Fat Ash in Cannonsburg out there at Mead Station Plaza. So a first for us there at uh, Fat Ash, our good friends there, hosting a singer-songwriter night. We're going to bring it to you live. Hope you tune in to that next week. There won't be any games to watch. You might as well. All right, we're ready to go here. Bottom of the first. Locust digging in. Short stop, number six. Ready to go. Turns into the windup. Pitch lined into left. Right down the third base line. Fair ball base hit. He's going to go for two. Here comes the throw, and they won't make the throw in. Well, I thought the shortstop was going to cut that off, but he let it go on through, but he was safe at second. So a leadoff double for Mocus. Great start to the bottom of the first here for the Russell Red Devils. And that's going to bring up the pitcher, Elijah Hankins. See if he can help himself out here. Runner at second. Nobody out here in the home half of the first. Of 
Kern set and delivers. Ball high and outside. One ball, no strikes or count. And he gets digs back in. Kearns is ready. And the pitch. Ball inside. It's like a breaking ball that just didn't get enough of the plate. It tried to come back in, but still stayed inside on Hankins. Two balls, no strikes to count. Nobody out here, home half of the first. Russell in business with a runner in scoring position here. Mocus out at second. Kearns will step off the bag, and he balked. They're going to call the balk on Kearns, and that will send Mocus to third. So now the first potential run of the game, only 90 feet away for the Red Devils. And Coach Wiley wants to ask some questions about that call of the umpire. As he comes out to the third baseline to discuss it with him. Looked like he just kind of had a little bit of a hitch in his step off and he kind of stumbled a little bit. It happens. Still early in the season. Those things will work themselves out. But nonetheless, it puts the uh, leadoff runner, Mocus, at third. 90 feet away from Russell denning the scoreboard here. Hankins will try to bring him in. 2-0 count to Hankins. He settles back in. Kearns is ready. Comes set in the stretch. Kicks and deals. Swing and a fly ball. Looks like it's going to get out of play to the right side. Yes, it does. Two balls, one strike to count now. Nobody out here in the home half of the first inning on a beautiful, beautiful baseball night. Turn set and brings it plateward. And Hankins swings ground ball to short. Throw over to first is good, but the run will score. It's an RBI ground out for Hankins. And the Russell Red Devils are on the board here in the home half of the first, one nothing. Parker Mitchell now will stand in for the Red Devils. Number 14, the center fielder. One out here. Kearns kicks and deals, and a bunt laid down right in front of home plate. Nice play by the catcher, and they got him. First base. Two away. Moats with a nice play there coming out of the box and throwing that ball to get the out. So that's going to bring up the third baseman, Nick Adams. Number two, two away here, home half of the first, but the <laughs> Red Devils have put a run across. Nick steps out, back in. Kearns into the windup and the pitch. That ball broke back across the black of the plate. Adams bailed out a little bit, but that ball broke right back into just touching the black. No balls, one strike. Here's the pitch. Swing and a line drive over second base and into the right center field gap. That could be extra bases for Adams. He makes the turn. Throw coming in. He will be in with a stand-up double. So Nick Adams with a nice little line drive to right center. And once again, the Russell Red Devils have a runner in scoring position here in the home half of the first. Jaden Frazier, the second baseman, will try to bring him in. Russell hoping for a little two-out magic here. Leading one nothing. Kearns comes into his stretch. The pitch. Strike on the outside corner. Fastball. About thigh high. No balls, one strike. Kearns into the stretch here. Comes set and the pitch. Swing and a foul ball out of play to the right side. 
No balls, two strikes to count now to Frazier. Two outs here in the home half of the first. Kearns comes set. Stretch and the pitch. Ball inside, it gets past Moats, and yep, Adams will get up to third on that play. So again, the Red Devils have a potential run just 90 feet away at third base. Already leading one nothing here in the bottom half of the first inning. Kearns trying to get out of this inning with minimal damage. Frazier would like to do some damage here. Kearns comes set. And the delivery. Swing and a pop-up towards short. Drifts back, and he makes the catch. To end the inning, but... The Russell Red Devils put a crooked one on the scoreboard. They take a 1-0 lead here on one hit. I'm sorry, two hits in the inning. RBI ground out by Hankins. And we will take a break and be back for the second inning here on My Town TV. Whether it's ice and cold drinks, chips and dips, or homemade sandwiches, and crispy, crunchy chicken for everybody, Clark's has you covered. And you don't even have to leave your car thanks to our convenient drive through Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Russell High School, top of the second inning here in this My Town matchup between the Ironton Fighting Tigers and the Russell Red Devils. Russell took the lead there in the bottom half of the first inning with an RBI ground out from Elijah Hankins after a leadoff double by Mokas. Uh, then Nick Adams had a uh, double but was stranded after a fly out by Frazier, a pop up to the shortstop actually. And uh, we're ready to go here for the top half of the second inning. Elijah Hankins on the hill for the Red Devils. Leading it off for the Fighting Tigers will be the catcher, Brady Motes. Yes. Here we go. Hankins delivers. Oh, just on the inside. I called that one a ball. I thought that might have caught some black, but it's called a ball. One ball, no strike. Hankins the delivery. Swing and a miss through the fastball. One ball, one strike. Hankins is ready. Into the windup. And the pitch. Swing and a foul out of play to the right side. One ball, two strikes to count. Hank is ready. Moat stands in. Long look in, and here's the delivery. Swing and lift it into left field. That's going to drop into no man's land down the left field line. So it's a leadoff single for Brady Moats. Just one of those, kind of a Texas leaguer where nobody could get to it. Now batting number nine, Tanner Kleinman. That's going to bring up Tanner Kleinman. The right fielder. One on. Nobody out here. Visitors half of the second inning from Russell High School. We're 
ready to go. Hankins checks the runner. Goes into the stretch. Swing and a miss. Fastball. Waist high. No balls. One strike. Swing and the foul ball out of play. No balls, two strikes. Nobody out here. First inning. John Wiley, the uh, courtesy runner on at first base for the Tigers. Hankins set. Kicks and deals. Ball high. Runner goes. Throw down to second. And he's out at second base. Nice throw there by Witt and a great tag applied. So, the runner is cut down off the base pass, so the bases are empty now with one out. Looked like he slid off the base there from what I saw. One ball. Count here. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Nice little breaking ball there. Now batting number seven, Braden Baker. First strike out of the night for Elijah Hankins. So with two outs, that's going to bring up Braden Baker, the third baseman, number seven. Hankins ready. Back into the windup now with the bases empty. And delivers. Ball inside and high. One ball, no strikes to Baker. Nick Seitz on deck. Two outs here in the top half of the second inning. Hankins comes set and delivers. Swing and a fly ball towards center. Parker Mitchell drifting over, settles under, makes the play. And the inning is over. So Elijah Hankins gets away from a leadoff single unscathed. And the Russell Red Devils still lead it after one and a half. One to nothing over the Ironton Fighting Tigers. We will be right back. Ashley Credit Union is pleased to announce the opening of two new locations. The ACU Cannonsburg Branch is located across from Camp Landing on US 60. The Russell Branch of ACU is located at 1200 Dietrich Boulevard. Visit Ashland Credit Union today to learn how you can achieve more in 2024. Safe, Kentucky. Buckle up and put the phone down. At Buffalo Wild Wings, the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free bonus Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. Welcome back to Russell High School. Baseball. Everything's right with the world when baseball starts back, folks. And it's the Ironton Tigers visiting the Russell Red Devils. We are in the home half of the second inning with the Russell Red Devils holding on to a 1-0 lead. Jaden Kearns on the hill still for the Ironton Tigers. And Avery Lother will lead it off for the Russell Red Devils here as we are ready to go in the home half of the second. Pitch, nice breaking ball. Broke right over to the outside corner. That that kid's got one heck of a breaking ball. No balls, one strike. Here's the delivery. Swing and a miss. He swung over top of the breaking ball that time. Number 
No balls, two strikes. Nobody out here in the home half of the second. Jaden Kearns working quickly. Ready to go. Wind up. And the pitch. And he gets him on a borderline high fastball in the outside corner. Called strike three. One away. That'll bring up Jared Witt, the catcher. Jared, a nice job of gunning down that runner last inning. That was number 22, Jared Witt. Kearns ready, and the windup, the pitch. Strike on the inside corner. That ball is one strike. One away here in the bottom half of the second inning. Kearns into the windup. Pitch, ball high. One ball, one strike. Nice crowd out here tonight at Russell High School for this game. Short trip, of course, across the river for the Ironton folks. Here's the pitch. It looked like it was going to hit him, and then it broke into the middle of the plate, but it didn't hit the plate, but my goodness. This guy's got a heck of a breaking ball. Two balls and one strike. One away here. Bottom of the second. Turns. Strike. At the bottom of the strike zone. Jared didn't like the call, but it might have caught a little bit of the bottom of the strike zone. Two balls, two strikes to Jared with the catcher. Witt back in the batter's box. Kearns ready and delivers. Swing and a miss. Got him swinging. Swung over top of the breaking ball there. Two away. It's a second strikeout now for Kearns. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Kearns. And that will bring up the left fielder, Luke Pennington, number four. Two away here. Home half of the second. For the Russell Red Devils, number four, Luke Pennington. Pennington digs in. Kern's ready to go. Into the windup. Pitch. Nice curve ball. Caught the center of the plate. No balls, one strike. <coughs> Kern's into the windup. And the pitch. And he throws another beauty right on the outside corner this time. Breaking ball. No balls. Two strikes. Two away here. Bottom of the second. Here's the 0-2. Ball high. Try to get him to chase something high there. After showing him that low breaking ball two pitches in a row. Not a bad idea. Pennington digs back in. Number eight hitter in the lineup. Kern's going to work. Ball inside. Backs Luke off the plate a little bit there. A little chin music. As I said a couple weeks ago, nothing wrong with that. Make him know you're there. Two balls, two strikes, two outs here. Kern's ready. Wind up. Pitch high. Stayed up high with the breaking ball there. Couldn't get it down. We're in count full now. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. Nobody on here in the bottom half of the second inning. Kearns trying to work through a one, two, three inning. And here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. He got him on the slider. And it's a three strikeout inning for Chaden Kearns as the Russell Red Devils go down one, two, three. So we have finished two innings of baseball here from Russell High School. It is the Russell Red Devils 1 and the Ironton Fighting Tigers 0. We will be back here on My Town TV. Hi, I'm Clay with Pollock Strollers and this uh, school season we want to wish all of our local teams the, the best. We want you to know that we're here for you and any of your gift giving needs. And uh, good luck to everyone this fall and next spring. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap. HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. Insurance with a local agent. It's called service. Call me, Mary Boggs State Farm Agent in Ashland today at 606-744-1208.
right, we're back here at Russell High School. Baseball, best season of the year in my opinion. Again, that's just my opinion, everybody has one. And we are live here on My Town TV for a My Town matchup between the Ironton Fighting Tigers and the Russell Red Devils. And that's going to bring us to the top of the third inning. As Nick Seitz, the left fielder, stands in ready to bat. Hankins ready to work his third inning. He faced the minimum last inning because 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 standing, because standing, because standing, because. Sign. Come sit. And the wind up. Just off the outside of the plate. Ball three. That one was borderline. Three balls, no strikes. One away here. Pitch. And he walked him. Ball outside. Now batting number 11, Tyler Roach. That's going to bring up Tyler Roach. Second baseman, runner at first. Hankins to throw over to first. Roach, the second baseman, stands in. The pitch strike right down the middle. The ball is one strike, the count. One out here, runner at first. Drew Sheridan drew the one out walk. Ball outside. One ball, one strike to count to number 11, Tyler Roach, the second baseman. Hankins ready. Comes set. Stretch and the pitch. Swing and a ground ball to short. Flips to second for one, over to first. Double play. What a great play. I had to wait for the call there, but it was a 6-4-3 tailor-made double play 
and that will get the Russell Red Devils out of the inning. And we will head to the bottom of the third with the Red Devils still leading one nothing here on My Town TV. Trust is something earned, not given. Better financials lead to a better life. All with the Better Bank headquartered in Boyd County and serving the Tri-State. KFB, the bank you trust and the community you love. Right now, one in four Kentucky high school seniors are dealing with anxiety and depression. That's one in four. It's okay to ask for help, and Pathways is listening. Learn more or connect with help today at pathways-ky.org. Back to Russell High School, home of the Russell Red Devils. A my town matchup tonight between the Red Devils and the Irish Fighting Tigers. Take a minute here while we're waiting for Caden Mitchell to uh, lead off the end here, the number nine hitter, and thank our sponsors for allowing us to do what we do and bringing you these games free. We are 100% sponsor funded, and we certainly do appreciate those folks for trusting in us to bring you these games and to show off these student athletes and something I always like to mention we are followed now I just checked we are followed by over 250 college coaches which is one of the reasons we do what we do we want these kids to get the exposure and go to the next level and that's what we're here for and we're ready for the bottom of the third Caden Mitchell will lead it off against Caden Kearns Kearns had a fantastic inning last inning with a three strikeout inning back to back to back, one, two, three inning. And he is ready to go here. Into his windup and the delivery. Ball outside. <coughs> Look, he overthrew that fastball just a bit. One ball, no strikes here to Mitchell. Red Devils leading one nothing. Pitcher's duel going on here so far. Here's the pitch. Swing and that one. Line in the right, and the catch is made out there. So, one away as the top of the order will come to the plate here now with Mocus. Tanner Kleiman made that play out in right field, by the way. Kyle Mocus, the batter, the shortstop. Let off the game with a double in the first inning. Here's the windup and the pitch. Strike on the outside corner. That breaking ball came just back over the black. No balls, one strike. One away here in the bottom half of the third inning. Turns with the delivery. Ball high and outside. One ball, one strike. Turns ready. Comes to the plate. Mocus swings and grounds it right back to Kearns. He made a nice play on that. Throws over to first for the out. That ball was a hot shot, and he made a nice play on it. And throws it over to first for the out. Two away. And that's going to bring up the pitcher, Elijah Hankins. Now batting, number one, Elijah Hankins. Two down here in the bottom half of the third. On what I like to call baseball eve. The Reds making their home debut tomorrow. Here's the pitch. That one's called a strike. Looked like it might have been a little outside, but we'll give him the benefit of that. Never try to be too hard on the umpires. No balls, one strike here. Hankins swings and fouls this one off the catcher. No balls, two strikes. 
Kerr's trying to work back to back one, two, three innings here. He has really settled in. Hankins digs in. Kern's ready. The wind up. The 0 2. Ball way up and in. It gets past the catcher to the backstop. One ball, two strikes. And here we go with the 1 2. Swing and grounded right back up the middle. Base hit for Elijah Hankins. Hankins will bust up a potential 1-2-3 inning with a single. And that will bring up Parker Mitchell. Parker tried to lay down a bunt. And uh, was thrown out by the catcher his first time up. Runner at first. Kearns into the stretch now. The pitch. Strike, nice breaking ball. Broke right over the outside of the plate. No balls, one strike. Two outs here in the bottom half of the third. Russell trying to mount a two-out rally here. With the heart of the order up. That one goes past the catcher. It was a ball up and in, and Hankins will get to second easily. So now, Russell in business with a runner in scoring position. See if Parker Mitchell can bring him around here. One ball, one strike. Kearns ready. Comes set. Stretch and the pitch. Ball low. Two balls, one strike. Turns ready. Ball outside. Three and one. Runner at second here in the bottom half of the third with two outs. Three one count to Parker Mitchell. Turns comes set. He's ready with the three one. Delivers. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. Count is full. Hankins will be going on the pitch. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. Stretch and the pitch. Ball inside. So a block issued to Parker Mitchell. And Russell was in business. Runners at first and second for Nick Adams. He had a double in his first at bat. He was stranded. He sure would like to bring back that double now. <coughs> Nick Adams, the third baseman, looking for some two-out magic. Steps out of the box, now back in, ready to go. Kearns ready. Hankins, nice lead at second. Mitchell with the lead at first. Ball low and away. One ball, no strikes. Adams digs in here. One ball, no strike count. Kearns comes set. Pitch, swing, and a miss. Swung over top of it. One ball, one strike. Kern's trying to get out of the inning unscathed. Throws a beautiful breaking ball over the inside corner. One ball, two strikes. Kearns will step off. Nick Adams will step out. Back in, ready to go now. Long look in by Kearns. He comes set. Stretch and the pitch. Swing and a miss. And he got him on the breaking ball. 
to end the inning. So, no runs, no hits, no errors in the inning for Russell. And we will go to the top of the fourth with the Russell Red Devils still leading 1-0 over the Ironton Fighting Tigers. We'll be right back here on My Town TV. Primary Plus is celebrating over 40 years of its mission of quality, advanced, affordable health care. With more than 11 primary care locations throughout the region, Primary Plus believes in our communities and their patients. Primary Plus, always welcoming new patients. Visit online at primaryplus.com. And we're back here at Russell High School, top of the fourth inning, getting ready to get underway. Red Devils leading 1-0. Elijah Hankins on the hill has faced the minimum so far. Top of the order will come back up for the Fighting Tigers. With a shut at three shutout innings, only one hit allowed. He also helped himself out. He has driven in the only run of the game. With an RBI ground out after a leadoff double by Mocus and a wild pitch sent Mocus to third. Always good when the pitcher can help himself out. Of course, those days are gone with my beloved Reds because they put the stupid DH rule in in Major League Baseball. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Not a fan. Not a fan of the pitch clock either, but hey, whatever. Now batting number 14. We are ready to go here. Top of the fourth. Connor Kleiman, the shortstop, will lead it off for the Ironton Fighting Tigers. I want to shout out real quick to the two coaches for these teams. Travis Wiley, Tim Rice did a great job getting me all their lineups over today so I could make some nice graphics for these games and show these kids off a little bit. Appreciate that. We are ready to go. Hankins into the windup. Pitch. Ball up and in. 1 0. Hankins ready. Climbing, digging in. Into the windup. And the pitch. That one's a ball low and away. It's past the catcher. Two balls, no strikes. Climbing digs in. Hankins ready with the 2 0. -oh. Into his windup and the pitch. Swing and a miss on a nice breaking ball that came back across the inside part of the plate. Two balls, one strike. Nobody out here in the top of the fourth. Here's the pitch from Hankins. That one's low in the dirt. Ball three. Three balls, one strike. Lyman digs in, ready for the three, one. Hankins into his windup and brings it. Swing and a foul straight back into the netting. Full count. Hankins trying to come back and get a punch out here. Climbing, staying in the box, ready to go. Hankins is ready. Looks in for the sign. And goes into his windup. The pitch, and it's a ball outside. So the walk, leadoff walk for Connor Kleiman. That's going to bring up a pitcher, Chaden Kearns. <coughs> Nobody out here in the visitor's half of the fourth inning. Oh, okay. 
Kearns digging in. Hankins checks the runner at first. Comes set. Stretch and the pitch ball low in the dirt. Or did he go at that? He swung at that. He but attempted at that, so that's going to be a strike. It fouled off them. I was just told by the PA announcer that was a foul ball. I missed it. It's what you get for looking down at your paper. <laughs> no balls, one strike here. To the pitcher, Jaden Kearns. Kleiman takes the lead at first. Throw over. Oh, that was a quick throw over. He got back, but that was close. I was impressed last week with Elijah's move to first, and I'm still impressed. That was a quick throw over. He definitely had Kleiman leaning. No balls, one strike. Hankins checks the runner. Stretch and the pitch. Bun attempt right back at the pitcher. He's going to go to second for the out. And they get the lead runner. What a heads-up play there by Elijah Hankins. He wasn't even thinking about first base. As soon as that bunt came to him, he was turning and throwing to second. Nice play there. Now batting number 16, Ian Ginger. So one away. Kearns, the pitcher at first after the fielder's choice. Ian Ginger, the batter. Center fielder stands in, ready to go. Ball up and in. Nice job by Witt getting up and getting that ball. One ball, no strike. One away here. Hankins hoping to end it with another double play like he did last inning. He throws over to first. And Kearns gets back safely. We are in the top half of the fourth inning. In a one nothing game. Hankins set and the pitch. Ball up and in. Two balls, no strikes. Getting behind a little bit on these batters here this inning. I have to rear back and find it. Two and oh, one away. Ginger digs in. Hankins, the pitch. Just off the outside of the plate with the breaking ball. He thought he caught some of the black there, but old plate umpire says not on that one, young man. Three balls, no strikes. Hankins in desperate need of a strike here with a runner at first and one away. He checks Kearns at first. Stretch and the pitch. And he calls a strike on the inside corner. 3-1, count. Ginger digs in, ready to go, 3-1. Here's the pitch, ball inside. And he will lose him to a walk, so two walks here in the inning for Hankins. And that's going to put runners at first and second with one out for the cleanup hitter, Brady Motes, the catcher. And Witt's going to go out and have a chat with Hankins here. Jaden Kearns comes over and talks to his coach on the third baseline at the same time. Power says, let's get this thing back going here, boys. Brady Motes, the cleanup hitter for these Ironton Fighting Tigers, ready to stand in. Hankins from the stretch. In trouble for the first time here in this game. One away. Looks back the pitch. Strike. A nice breaking ball over the outside corner of the plate. No balls. One strike here to Motes. Motes digs in. Hankins looking in at the sign. Checks the runners. Comes set. 
stretch and the pitch. Swing and a line drive right back at him. The second baseman, Frazier, fields it. And it's a double play. He flipped it over for the to the shortstop over to first for the double play. Another inning-ending double play for the Russell Red Devils. Defense is the king tonight. And we will head to the bottom of the fourth here on My Town TV. We will be right back. Back here at Russell High School in a defensive and pitcher's duel here between the Ironton Fighting Tigers and the Russell Red Devils. Back-to-back -back innings now. The Russell Red Devils have gotten out of it with a double play, and Braden or Jaden Fraser, sorry, made a fantastic play on that ball last inning to start that 4-6-3 double play to get Elijah out of the inning. And he's going to lead it off here for the bottom of the fourth inning. Second baseman for the Russell Red Devils flew out, popped up to the shortstop his first time up. In the first inning. It always seems, though, when a player makes a great play in the field, they come up and do something at the plate the next time up, too. It's that Murphy's Law. It almost never fails. I'm calling it. Jaden Frazier's leading off with a hit. <laughs> Jaden Kearns on the mound. We are just about ready to go as the throw goes down to second. Well, this has been a pretty quick game as a pitcher's duel usually is. We are already in the bottom of the fourth here from Russell High School. one nothing Russell. Jaden Frazier leading it off. Second baseman digs in. Chayden Kearns ready to go. End of the windup. Pitch. Ball low and away. One ball, no strikes. Kearns into the windup. And the pitch. Ball inside. Two balls, no strikes. Frazier most likely going to make him bring one right down the heart before he swings at it. And the breaking ball called for a strike there on the outside corner low. He is definitely getting that low strike call. Two balls, one strike. One strike, nobody out. Home half of the fourth. Pitch is outside. Three and one to count. Frazier trying to get on base here to start off this fourth inning. Kearns ready, the wind up, the pitch, strike on the outside corner, full count. <clears throat> Frazier digging in and Kearns bringing the payoff pitch. Strike up on the inside corner, strikes him out looking. One away here in the home half of the fourth. Now batting, number 11, Avery Lother. That is the fifth strikeout for Kearns tonight. That's going to bring up Avery Lother, first baseman. Kearns, the wind up and the pitch strike right down Broadway. Oh, 
No balls. One strike. The pitch from Kearns. Swing and a miss on the curveball. No balls. Two strikes. If I was going to give Russell any advice, I'd sure jump on that fastball. Because you do not want that breaking ball. Swing and a little chopper out in front of the plate. That's going to be trouble. Motes comes up and throws. And he got him. He got the tag on him at first base, it looked like. Great play by Motes. Great play down there at first base by Dawson Filial. And one away. Two away, sorry, here in the home half of the fourth. And we'll go down 2-3 on the out. Jared Witt now the batter, the catcher. Struck out his last time up. He'd like to get on the board here. Swing and a miss. No balls, one strike. Strike two over the inside corner. That breaking ball just catching the inside of that plate. No balls, two strikes. Two away here in the bottom half of the fourth. Kearns trying to go one, two, three. Pitch hits him. Fastball got away from him. And Witt will take the base with the hit batsman. Go ahead and pre-order him an ice pack for that one for later. So he takes his way down to first base. They may be putting a courtesy runner in here for Witt. Pinch running for the Russell Red Devils, number five, Grayson Kaiser. Grayson Kaiser on the run for Witt. Let him shake that hit by pitch off for a little bit. Luke Pennington up. Throw over to first. Ball gets away. Kaiser's going to run. That ball's over into the right field corner. He's going three. Throw comes into the second <laughs> baseman. And Kaiser will go all the way to third base. And he, folks, he was out if that was a good throw. But the Russell Red Devils will take it on the errant throw by Kearns. So now, 90 feet away, the second run of the game, possibly. Luke Pennington, the left fielder, would like to drive that run in. And Travis Wiley's going to come out and talk to his team at the mound. Try to settle his pitcher down. He's been cruising along since the first inning, really. Just settle down the nerves a little bit. You got to – that that runner don't mean anything at third when you have two outs. That's what he's telling him. You just rear back and get the batter. We're just about ready to get back to action here as the coach's meeting breaks up on the mound. And Luke Pennington will settle back in. Jaden Kearns trying to get out of another – unscathed inning here, but he's got a runner 90 feet away. And when you've got a breaking ball pitcher on the mound, that can spell trouble because sometimes those balls get away from you pretty quick. Here's the pitch to Pennington. Ball up and in. One ball, no strikes. Red Devils trying for a two-out rally here. In the home half of the fourth. Kearns to the plate. Swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. Luke Pennington settles in. Jaden Kearns brings it plateward. Swing and a miss. And a ball outside of the strike zone on the outside. One ball, two strikes to Pennington. Kearns trying to work quickly. Pennington back in the batter's box. Turns into his windup, the pitch struck him out, swinging. Pennington down for the second time tonight on strikes, and that will end the inning, so no runs. They did get a hit by pitch in the inning and got a runner on, got him all the way to third, but could not get him home. So after four complete here at Russell High School, the Red Devils still clinging 
to a one nothing lead, and we will be right back on My Town TV. I began fostering in 2020. Having a caring adult is important and I wanted to make sure that I gave that to any child that was in need. I chose to foster with Ramy specifically because Ramy just, they get it. The support that I get with Ramy is excellent. Anytime I need something, I know who to call and I can call any of them, any of them. It actually has positively impacted me because it started the Tolbert family. Welcome back to Russell High School. The Russell Red Devils in a My Town TV matchup of two partner schools. The Russell Red Devils and the Irons and Fighting Tigers. We're excited to bring you this game, and it is a doozy. One to nothing. Russell leading. Elijah Hankins back on the hill here for the top of the fifth inning. It'll be the five, six, seven hitters for the Irons and Tigers. Tanner Kleiman, the right fielder, will lead it off. Number nine, Tanner Kleiman. He'll be followed by Braden Baker and Nick Seitz. Four innings of one hit shutout baseball so far for Elijah Hankins. Here's the windup and the pitch. Swing and a line drive, and boy, I jinxed that. For a line drive up the middle for a base hit. So a leadoff single for Kleiman. Tanner climbing, that is. Second hit of the night for the Tigers. That's going to bring up Braden Baker, the third baseman, number seven. Baker flew out to center field last time. That was back in the second inning. Batting here in the fifth. Hankins into the stretch. Bun attempt has popped up. What a great play right there by Elijah Hankins. He tried to get that ball in the air, came up with it, and made a fantastic throw to first base there to get the out. So a bun attempt that was popped up just out of the reach of Hankins, and he made a nice play on to recover and get the out. So one out, runner at second. Kleiman did move up to second on the play. Sights the batter. Nick sights the left fielder. Settles in. Hankins comes set. Checks the runner at second. Kicks and deals. Swing. Yeah, foul ball. No balls. One strike. Nick Seitz led off the third inning with a ground out to second baseman Jaden Frazier. Hankins looks in for the sign. Comes set. Ready with the 0-1. Checks the runner. Kicks and deals. He swung. Yep, he did go around. No need for an appeal there. The home plate umpire calls it. No balls, two strikes on that low fastball that was down in the dirt. Got him to chase a little bit, but when you're painting the corners all night, that, that's easy to do. You get a lot more chase swings when you're able to throw strikes. No balls, two strikes, one away here. Runner at second, top of the fifth. Hankins comes set, kicks and deals. Swing and a ground ball to third. Adams looks the runner back, throws over to first, got him. The runner will advance to third, however. So two away. On the 5-3 ground out. Runner at third. But there are two outs in the inning. Tommy Sheridan, the designated hitter. He walked his first time up. 
out to talk to his pitcher for a moment. Two away here in the top of the fifth. Sheridan digs in. Wind up and the pitch from Hankin. Swing at a high fastball. Out of the strike zone, 0 1. Breeze has died down quite a bit here at the ballpark. Just a beautiful night for baseball here in Russell, Kentucky. Hankins into the windup, the pitch, swing, and a ground ball. Chopped to third. Adams charging in, gets it, throw. Got him. He got him at first base. What a play by Nick Adams. He charged that ball, came up throwing hard, and the inning is over. Another great defensive play by Russell ends an inning unscathed. So after four and a half innings, the Russell Red Devils still clean to a 1-0 lead here over the Ironton Fighting Tigers. We will be right back on My Town TV. Primary Plus is celebrating over 40 years of its mission of quality, advanced, affordable health care. With more than 11 primary care locations throughout the region, Primary Plus believes in our communities. and their patients. Primary Plus, always welcoming new patients. Visit online at primaryplus.net. To know that we impacted them it, um, really helps, but I don't know if they really know how much they impacted us. The things these kids go through, we can't imagine. Almost every foster that we've had, we still have contact with. We choose to continue to foster with Remy Eastep because they've become family. I've never felt like they say, here you go, you're on your own. You can call them at any time. If they don't have the answer right at hand, they'll find it and get back with you. Welcome back to Russell High School, Russell, Kentucky, home of the Red Devil. Taking on the Ironton Fighting Tigers tonight in a pitcher's duel, a defensive duel of sorts tonight. So many great plays on both sides tonight. And uh, it is one nothing, Russell, as we head to the bottom of the fifth inning. Kate Mitchell will lead it off for the Russell Red Devils against Chayton Kearns, who is still on the hill for the Fighting Tigers. Right fielder ready. Pitch, swing, and a pop-up towards short and second. And the second baseman will call him off and make the play. One away. Tyler Roach making the play. One down here in the bottom half of the fifth. Back to the top of the order now for the Red Devils. Kyle Mokas at the plate. The shortstop. Digging in the lefty. Kearns. Swing and a ground ball right back to Kearns. He trots over and underhands it to Phil Yall for the out. One, two down here now in the home half of the fifth inning. Now batting, number one, Elijah Hankins. Twice now that Mocus has hit hot shots right back at the pitcher. Pitcher Elijah Hankins up. He has driven in the only run of the game. He's one for two with an RBI ground out. Ball up and in. Breaking ball stayed up and off the plate. One ball, no strikes. Two outs here in the bottom of the fifth. Russell leading one nothing. Hankins digs in. Kearns. Ball up. Two balls, no strikes. Parker Mitchell standing on deck for the Red Devils. Kearns ready. The windup. The pitch. That's a strike on the outside corner. At the top of the strike zone. Lodger wasn't real sure about the call. He looked back at the home plate umpire and had a question about that one. Turns ready, 
The windup and the pitch. Swing and a little ground ball in between third and the pitcher. And that's going to be an infield single for Mr. Hankins, his second hit of the game for Elijah Hankins. So that's going to bring up Parker Mitchell, the heart of the order coming up for Russell with a runner on. See if they can get some runs in here. Baker did a nice job of charging that ball, just just a, one of those no man's land infield singles. Mitchell ready. Kearns delivers. This is a foul ball in the foul territory. Oh, and it just off the mitt, the glove there of the right fielder. Climbing. Tanner climbing just. That was a long run for that play. And, just missed it. So one, no ball, one strike here, the count. Parker Mitchell. Runner at first is Elijah Hankins. He got his second hit of the evening just a few moments ago. Turns ready. Parker Mitchell in. Pitch. Swing and a little weak ground ball just about the same place. Charges in, and this time he gets him. That was a nice play there. By the third baseman, another great play there by Baker to end the inning. And again, no score here on the inning. And the uh, Red Devils did get a base hit out of Hankins, <coughs> but we will go to the top of the sixth inning with the Russell Red Devils leading one nothing over the Ironton Fighting Tigers. We will be right back on My Town TV. Whether it's ice and cold drinks, chips and dips, or homemade sandwiches, and crispy, crunchy chicken for everybody, Clark's has you covered. And you don't even have to leave your car thanks to our convenient drive through Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Russell High School. Russell Red Devils hosting the Ironton Fighting Tigers. This has been a defensive struggle and a pitcher's duel tonight. Some great plays made in the field here tonight. That last inning, Mr. Braden Baker made a fantastic charging play on a ground ball to end the inning off the bat of Parker Mitchell. And uh, what a great game so far. Just defense after defense. Some double plays turned by the Red Devils. Some great plays by the <coughs> third baseman for the Tigers. And Dawson Filial made a great did a great job of coming off the bag earlier on a throw and making a tag. And always good to see good defense. And both of these teams look like they're really finding their own on defense. Russell struggled a little bit the first couple yeah, games defensively, but they are looking really good out there in the field right now. We go to the top half of the sixth. Ironton will send Tyler Roach, the second baseman, to the plate. He'll be followed by the top of the order, Connor Kleiman, and the pitcher, Chaden Kearns. Top of the sixth. Hankins cruising right now. Two hit shutout through five so far. Lined up and the pitch. Bun attempt. Out into the mitt of what? Then bounced out into the field there, so foul ball. No balls, one strike. Hankins will get a new baseball. Roach will settle back in here. Tiger's second baseman. Hit into an inning ending 6 4 3 double play in the second. Or the third inning, I'm sorry. Hankins. Delivers ball low and in. 
One ball, one strike. Coach digging back in. Hankins ready. Goes into his windup. And the pitch. Swing and a miss on the breaking ball. One ball, two strikes. Pulled the string on him there on that last pitch. The Tiger second baseman back in. Right-handed hurling, Elijah Hankins brings it to the plate. Swing and a ground ball to short. Kyle throws it over. Not in time. That was a deep ground ball into the hole at short, and that was going to be a tough play all the way. What will go down is probably an infield single there for Roach. Now batting number 14, Connor Kleinman. The leadoff single for Roach puts Kleinman at the plate now. Shortstop, Connor Kleinman. Kyle Mokas just kind of caught him in between there whether to charge that ball or not. But uh, don't think he, I think he may have underestimated the speed of Roach on that one. Here's a bunt attempt right back to the pitcher. He looks over to second, but we'll take the play at first. Hankins throws it over to first for the out. Now number 24. successful sacrifice bunt by Kleiman. Brings up the pitcher, Chaden Kearns. One away here. Top half of the sixth inning. Big lead at second base by Roach. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Hankins trying to get out of another unscathed inning here. Runner at second, one away. Pitcher Kearns, heart of the order on its way up next. Hankins brings it playward inside. The breaking ball stayed in, in and up. One ball, one strike the count now to Chaden Kearns. The Tigers right-handed <laughs> hurler at the plate. Facing his counterpart, the right-handed hurling, Elijah Hankins. Hankins checks the runner at second, comes set. Stretch in the pitch. Swing and a foul ball up and out of play to the right side. One ball, two strikes. Count here to Chaden Kearns, and Elijah Hankins could sure benefit from a strikeout here with one out. Center fielder Ian Ginger on deck. Hankins ahead in the count, one, two. Checks the runner, set pitches, swing and a pop up. This may stay in play. Witt's giving chase. Just out of his reach there in the warning track area around the foul territory. So the count will stay at one, two. One away here in the top of the sixth inning in a one nothing game. <coughs> Hankins looks in. Kearns digs in. Fakes the throw back to second. Back easily, of course. Kearns digs in. Hankins ready with the one two. Stretch and the pitch. Ball high. Two balls, two strikes. Yeah, Harrington dugout trying to get their team fired up to get back in this game. Here's a fly ball deep by Kearns into left center field. That's going to be out of here. A home run 
for the pitcher, Chayden Kearns. He got every bit of that ball. And he just helped himself out in a big way with a two out dinger. To left center field. And the Ironton Tigers just like that in a what has been a fantastic pitcher's duel and defensive gym tonight have taken the two to one lead here in the top of the sixth inning over the Russell Red Devils. One away, and that's going to bring up Ian Ginger, the center fielder. Now batting number 16, Ian Ginger. Pitch from Hankins way up out of the strike zone. A little frustration there by Hankins. He overthrew that one a little. Pitch from Hankins outside. Ball two. Two and oh. One out here in the top of the sixth. Ironton now in front, two to one. Hankins comes to the plate, ball high. Three and oh. Ginger digs back in. Hankins ready. 3-0 pitch, strike right down the middle, 3-1. Elijah Hankins trying to minimize the damage here to this inning. Another well-placed pitch there by Hankins right on the outside corner. It's going to bring the count full now to Ian Ginger. Ginger digs in. Hankins ready with the payoff pitch. Wind up and plate word, and it's up and in, ball four. Second walk of the game for Ian Ginger. And that's going to bring up the cleanup hitter, the catcher, Brady Motes, and that's going to cause a meeting at the mound here for the Russell Red Devils. Top of the sixth inning, Ironton has struck here with a two-run home run. By Chaden Kearns. They now have a 2-1 lead over the Red Devils. Doesn't look like any kind of pitching change going on here. Just talking to. Brady Motes digging in, meeting over on the mound there. Hankins trying to settle down and get out of the inning here. One away, top half of the sixth, throw over to first, back in time. Brady Motes hit into a 4-6-3 double play his last time up. A beautiful play by Jaden Frazier. Ball low and in the dirt. One ball, no strikes. <coughs> Brady Motes, the catcher. For the Ironton Fighting Tigers at the plate. One ball, no strikes. Pitch. Okay. He was going to bunt, pull the bat back. It was called a strike anyway. One ball, one strike, one away here. Visitors half of the sixth inning. Throw over to first. And he's back. Ginger easily back. Boats ready. Here's the pitch from Hankins. Ball up and in. Two balls, one strike. Wind 
picking up a little bit now towards right field. Hankins ready. With the 2 1. Brings it plateward. That's ball low and in the dirt. Three balls, one strike now. Brady Motes. Ahead in the count. Tigers catcher has a stolen base. He was caught stealing and hit into a 4-6-3 double play. There's another quick throw over to first, and he's back safely. Nope, digging in, 3-1 count. Full count now. One away here in the top half of the sixth. Brady Moats ready to dig back in. Hankins ready with the payoff. Checks the runner. Comes set. Throw over to first again. Back in time. And here's the payoff. Swing and a ground ball through the hole. at short. The runner was going. Here comes a runner to the plate, throw in. He is not going to get a throw in. It's cut off there by Lother. And an RBI double for Mr. Motes. Now batting number nine, Tanner Fine. That was one of those unfortunate incidents where the ball was hit in the hole where the shortstop would have been if the runner wouldn't have been stealing. And he hit it right where he was. And we are going to get a pitching change here as Coach Rice comes out to the mound and takes the ball from Elijah Hankins. And we will take a break and step away, and we'll be right back on My Town TV. Whether it's a breakfast sandwich or pizza on the way to the track, picking up drinks and crispy crunchy chicken on the way to the game, or a late night snack on the way home, no one has you covered like Clark's Pump and Shop. Quartz Pump and Shop. Return. Free bread. Refuel. Kentucky. Buckle up and put the phone down. At Buffalo Wild Wings, the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free bonus Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. Russell High School, top half of the sixth inning. 
Call to the bullpen now for the Russell Red Devils. It's number 18, Braden McGowan. Hayden McGowan, sorry. The freshman, I believe. Into the game to pitch for the Russell Red Devils. Not sure of any other defensive changes yet. Everyone's kind of standing around second base right now, so we will try to sort those out as soon as we see where they end up going to. I'm pretty sure Hankins will probably stay in the game. Maybe. Now batting number nine. Taylor Looks like Kleiner. they're going to stay with the same lineup here as defensively. Gowan ready. Climbing the batter. Pitch up and away, ball one. <laughs> Tanner climbing the right fielder at the plate. One away here in the sixth. Runner goes. No throw. Ball up and away. Two balls, no strikes here. One away. Top half of the sixth, the Tigers have struck with three here in the inning. A two-run home run by Ian Ginger and an RBI double from Brady Motes. Pitches away. Ball three. Three and oh. Tanner Kleiman is ahead in the count now. Braden Baker, third baseman on deck. Infield drawn in now, the runner at third. Trying to cut down a potential run. Strike right on the outside corner. Three balls, one strike. There's the pitch, the three one. Strike on the outside corner and Kleiman didn't think so. He'd already thrown his bat down the line. And he'll go pick that up and go face a payoff pitch here. Got one set. And the payoff. Swing and a line drive right at the second baseman, Frazier. Nice play. Keeps the runner at third and two outs now. Great play there and a great comeback by McGowan. To come back and get the out. That's going to bring up... Braden Baker, the third baseman. Now batting number seven, Braden Baker. The Tigers kept Jaden Frazier busy out there today. Second base. Baker. Strike on the outside corner. No balls. One strike now to Braden Baker. Hayden McGowan. The South Paul on the hill for the Russell Red Devils. Comes set. Stretch and the pitch. Swing and a foul ball. It's going to get out of play. So, McGowan ahead in the count now. 0-2. Two away here, top of the sixth. Tigers leading 3-1. to one. McGowan comes set. The pitch. Strike him out. Nice pitch right there. Young man comes back and gets him and ends the inning. But in the inning, the Ironton Tigers do put three on the board from the two-run home run by the pitcher, Chayden Kearns, and an RBI double from Brady Motes. We will head to the home half of the sixth inning with the Ironton Tigers now out in front, 3-1 to one, here on My Town TV. Primary Plus is celebrating over 40 years of its mission of quality, advanced, affordable health care. With more than 11 primary care locations throughout the region, Primary Plus believes in our communities and their patients. Primary Plus, always welcoming new patients. Visit online at primaryplus.net. I know that we impacted them and it um, really helps, but I don't know if they really know how much they impacted us. The things these kids go through, we can't imagine. Almost every foster that we've had, we still have contact with. We choose to continue to foster with Remy Eastad because they've become family. I've never felt like they say, here you go, you're on your own. You can call them at any time. If they don't have the answer right at hand, they'll find it and get back with you. We are 
back here at Russell High School. Home half of the sixth inning getting ready to get underway. Jaden Kern still on the hill for the Ironton Tigers. I was just told he only has 69 pitches thrown in this game. He has been very efficient tonight. His team and himself helped himself out last inning with that two-run home run and then the RBI double by Motes. They are now have a 3-1 lead over the Russell Red Devils here on this My Town TV partner school matchup. And we go to the bottom of the six, and Nick Adams will lead it off, the third baseman. Struck out his last time up. Generous call in the outside corner there, 0-1. Strike right at the top of the strike zone. No balls, two strikes now to Nick Adams. Turns into his windup, the pitch. Ball up and away. One, two now. Chase the breaking ball away and swings through it for a strikeout. The sixth of the game for Chayden Kearns. One away here in the bottom half of the sixth. That's going to bring up the second baseman, Jaden Frazier. He's 0 for 2 tonight. Struck out his last time up. He has made some defensive gems for the Russell Red Devils this evening. Strike on the breaking ball right over the heart of the plate. No balls, one strike now. One away here in the home half of the sixth. Kearns into his windup. Another beautiful breaking ball from Chaden Kearns. This young man can really pull the string on you. No balls, two strikes. He's out in front of another hitter. Frazier digging in. Here, Kearns comes plateward. Swing and a ground line drive in to the gap between third and short. That's a base hit. But Frazier, they bobble the ball. They're going to. Throw in a second. I don't think they're going to get him. Nope. They bobbled the ball out in left field, and Frazier saw it and took off to second. So a single, and he will reach second on an error. Jaden Frazier. Nice piece of hitting there to get the Red Devils going here in the home half of the sixth. It's going to bring up Avery Lother. The first <laughs> baseman for the Russell Red Devils. He is 0 for 2 this afternoon, this evening. Kern steps off. One away, runner in scoring position. Author digs in. Kearns checks the sign, comes set. Timeout called by Lothar at the plate. Didn't like the amount of time that Kearns was taking on the hill there. He settles back in now, and Kearns will go set. Stretch and the pitch. Ball outside. One ball, no strikes. Avery Lothar digs in. Jaden Kearns on the hill. Comes set. And the pitch. Ball outside, 2-0. Oh. So Lothar getting ahead in the count here on Kearns. Russell trying to get a rally going here in the bottom half of the sixth inning to get back in the lead. Lothar digging in. 2-0 oh count in his favor. Kearns comes set. Stretch and the pitch. Strike called just on the inside corner. Two balls, one strike. Kearns checks in. Stretch and the pitch. Another strike just on the outside corner. Breaking ball. Lothar digging back in. 2-2 two, two count, count even now. Kearns brings it to the plate. Swing and a miss. Strikeout for Kearns. 
two away here in the home half of the sixth. That'll bring up the catcher, Jared Witt. Jared was hit by a pitch last time up to the plate. Runner in scoring position at second base. Two outs here in the home half of the sixth. Kearns. Kicks and deals. Ball outside. Runner goes. Throw down to third. Not in time. Stolen base. For Frazier. So now that run is just 90 feet away for Jared Witt. One ball, no strike to count. Witt settles in. Curtis comes ready. Into the windup now with the runner at third. Pitch, strike on the outside corner. Count even up, one and one. Comes the one one ball outside gets away from the catcher. Here comes the run, and we will see this game cut to a one run game, folks. Three to two now. As Frazier hustles down the line on the pass ball, and the Russell Red Devils are down just three two now. We've got ourselves a ball game here, folks. Two away here. Base is now empty for Jared Witt. Two balls, one strike to count to the Russell Red Devils backstop. Does a great job behind the plate for the Red Devils. Little meeting on the mound now here for the Ironton Tigers. Looks like they're still going to stay with Kearns here. Just wanted to do a little talking. Jared Witt will settle back in with the count in his favor at 2-1. Two outs here in the home half of the sixth inning. One run has already crossed the plate on a wild pitch or pass ball, however you want to score that. It could have gone either way, I believe. Kearns, way outside. Jared Witt out in front, 3-1, and... Uh, Pitch count might start becoming an issue now for Kearns. Looks like he's getting a little bit less control of his pitches here. But he has been money tonight. Kearns ready with the 3-1. Swing and a pop-up down the right side. Out of play. So the count will go full now. Jared Witt ready for the payoff pitch. Looking for his first hit of the evening. Witt digs in. Kearns trying to get out of the inning here. Payoff pitch coming. Ball outside. So the walk for Witt. Runner at first now. Two away. And that's going to bring up Pennington. Unless we see a pinch hitter here, I'm not sure. And I believe we are going to see a pinch hitter. Kane Jacobs will pinch hit here for Luke Pennington. Number 32 for the Russell Red Devils. Runner at first, Witt. Ball outside, gets past the catcher, and Witt will. Well, actually, we have a pinch runner in for Witt. Grayson Kaiser back in to run again for the Red Devils, and he's up to second on the pass ball. So the tying run is in scoring position here. Jacobs ready, 1-0 pitch from Kearns. Strike on the breaking ball right over the outside part of the plate. One ball, one strike. Two away here, home half of the sixth. Red Devils have dented the scoreboard here, but they would sure like to get that other run in right now. 
Kearns ready. Delivers. Ball up and in. Jacob's able to lay off. Two balls, one strike. Jacob's ahead in the count. Kearns comes set. Stretch and the pitch. Swing and a miss on the break ball. Looked like he got a little piece of it. We'll call it a foul ball. Two balls, two strikes. Count is even. Two, two, two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs here in the bottom half of the sixth inning from Russell High School. Red Devils trailing three to two. Trying to get that run in from second base. Jacob's ready. Kearns delivers. Ball low. Full count. So the Red Devils hitters have worked another full count here on Kearns. Starting to run that pitch count up now. Kearns comes set. Here's the payoff. Strike three. A beautiful breaking ball right over the inside part of the plate. And that will end the inning as the Russell Red Devils do get one and cut the lead to three to two. But we will head to the top of the seventh with the visiting Ironton Tigers leading three to two here on My Town TV. Whether it's ice and cold drinks, chips and dips, or homemade sandwiches, and crispy, crunchy chicken for everybody, Clark's has you covered. And you don't even have to leave your car thanks to our convenient drive through Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Back to Russell High School. The Russell Red Devils hosting the Irons and Fighting Tigers here. Beautiful night for baseball. It has been a great game so far. The Irons and Tigers got ahead 3-1 in the top of the sixth, but Russell chipped back a little, scoring a run to cut it to 3-2. And it looks like McGowan will be back on the hill again for the Red Devils, and he will face the bottom of the order for the Ironton Fighting Tigers, Sites, Sheridan, and Roach do up this inning. Seven, eight, nine hitters. We are just about set to go here for the top of the seventh inning. Jared Wick finished talking to his pitcher, and we're ready to go here. Nick Sites, the left fielder, digging in. Here's the pitch from McGowan. Ball up. One ball, no strikes. Time called there by Sites. He'll step out of the batter's box. Sites digs back in here, ready for the 1 0. McGowan comes set into the windup and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Waved at it on the outside part of the plate. 1 and 1. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Almost look like a cut fastball the way that ball moves. One ball, two strikes here. Nobody out. Top of the seventh inning. McGowan brings it plateward. Swing and a miss. He got him on strike. Swinging. One away here in the top half of the seventh. Nice piece of pitch in there by McGowan. <laughs> Sites goes down swinging on 
four pitches. Now batting number four, Tommy Sheridan. Tommy Sheridan now will step in for the Ironton Fighting Tigers, the designated hitter. One away here in the top of the seventh. Sun starting to set here at Russell High School. Strike right over the outside of the plate. Tell you, Hayden McGowan has come in and gotten a fly out and back-to-back -back K's on his last three at bat batters that he has faced. The only three batters he has faced. Swing and a foul ball out of play to the right side. McGowan ahead 0-2. Sheridan has walked and grounded out to the third baseman today. Nick Adams made a nice play on a ball he hit earlier. McGowan ready. The wind up, the 0-2. Strike three called on the inside corner. Crossed him up a little bit there as that ball came back across the plate. And it's three consecutive Ks for McGowan. Now batting number 11, and that's going to bring up Tyler Roach, the uh, second baseman for the Ironton Fighting Tigers. He has singled and hit into a 6-4-3 double play. Two outs here in the top of the seventh. McGowan on cruise control right now. Ball up and away. One ball, no strikes. Two away here. And the 1-0 from McGowan. Strike on the outside corner. Just a little breaking ball there. I really like the location this young man has with his pitches. He's doing a great job of painting the corners. Great pitchers in this game today. Jaden Kearns was dynamite for the Tigers. That was just a little low. Two balls, one strike. This is the first time he's been behind a batter that I can think of. Two and one, two away here. Visitors half of the seventh inning. Three to two, Ironton leading. Here's the pitch. Swing and a line drive foul towards the first base dugout. Send the Russell player scurrying a little. So the count is even up at two and two. Two away here in the home and the visitors half, sorry, of the seventh inning. McGowan ready with the two two. Swing and that one's fouled down the right field line. Long run for Lothar. And that one's going to get out of play. So we'll do the 2-2 two -two all over again. Wouldn't be surprised if he pulls the string with a little breaking ball here. He's got him behind on the fastball. McGowan ready. And the 2-2. Two -two. Ball up. Payoff pitch coming up now as it goes to full. Three balls, two strikes here, two outs in the top of the seventh. Allen has been perfect in relief so far for the Russell Red Devils. Let's see if he can continue that. Roach calls time and steps out. McGowan ready with the payoff pitch. Roach digging in. And he comes plateward. And it's a strike on the outside corner called. And it is four consecutive strikeouts for Hayden McGowan as he sets the Tigers down one, two, three here in the top half of the seventh. We will go to the bottom of the seventh, and the Russell Red Devils have some work to do trailing the Ironton Tigers three to two. We will be right back. Ashley Credit Union is pleased to announce the opening of two new locations. The ACU Cannonsburg Branch is located across from Camp Landing on US 60. The Russell Branch of ACU is located at 1200 Dietrich Boulevard. Visit Ashland Credit Union today to learn how you can achieve more in 2024. Buckle up, phone down. Uh, buckle up, put your phone down, yeah, yeah. Buckle up, phone down. Uh, buckle up, put your phone down, yeah, yeah. Safe, Kentucky. Buckle up and put the phone down. At 
Buffalo Wild Wings, the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free boneless Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. All right, welcome back to Russell High School. Brian Harris here on the call at beautiful Russell High School here at Great Baseball Stadium here to watch a game. Slight breeze blowing here as we head to the bottom of the seventh inning. The Ironton Tigers three outs away from coming in here and winning on the road at Russell. They lead it three to two. The Red Devils will try to mount some sort of comeback here in the bottom of the seventh. I believe it's going to be Caden Mitchell leading off for the Russell Red Devils, a new pitcher. Now pitching for the Ironton Tigers. For the Tigers. Braden Baker. Baker, the third baseman, coming in to pitch. Braden Baker on the hill for the Ironton Tigers. And he will indeed face Caden Mitchell to lead off the seventh inning. Now batting number three, Caden Mitchell. The Red Devils trying to mount a late inning rally here. Baker delivers. Drop on the outside corner, a little breaking ball. I think everybody in this game has a fantastic breaking ball that's pitched so far. No balls, one strike. Mocus on deck. Here's the pitch. Swing and a ground ball to short. Field it, throw over to first. Got him. One away. Now for the Red Devils, number six, Connor, Connor climbing there with a routine ground ball play. To short stop to first. One away. The left-handed hitting Kyle Mokas at the plate. Short stop. Braden Baker ready. Strike on the outside corner. No balls, one strike. Mocus settles back in. He had a double to lead off the game and has grounded out his last two times up. That's a ball inside, gets past the catcher. It's going to be one ball, one strike now. Baker ready. Delivers the pitch. Ball outside. Two balls, one strike. Mocha's trying to get something going here for the Russell Red Devils. One out in the bottom of the seventh inning. Baker comes set and brings home the 2-1. Swing and a foul ball to the left side. Out of play. Counts even up at 2-2 two and two now. Ready with the 2-2. Ball outside. The count goes full to Kyle Mokas. 